Hey folks, Justin from Tackle Tactics in the shed gearing up. This week we've got some new weapons to throw. Check these out. We're going to be fishing the TT Headlocks Finesse UV Painted Jig Heads and we've paired those up with the Z-Man Micro Finesse Baits, the 1.75 inch tiny ticklers. Let's get out there, fish on. Fish on. Oh yeah, that didn't take too long. Right off that weed edge there, we've got horrible conditions, got a howling northerly, junk tides, but we got a bite, so that's a good thing. Didn't take too long to get that, so that gives me a bit of hope. What are you, buddy? You are a brimbo. Well, oh, he's not a bad brimbo either. Not a monster, but that's pretty cool. So that is on the Headlocks Finesse UV, so it's a painted head in the bloodworm colour. And I'm fishing a Micro Finesse 1.75 inch tiny ticklers. So, you know, those little legs moving around, that guy's seen those legs moving around, boom, he's just picked that up off the bottom. So that's pretty cool. Nice little start to the session. See if we can find a few of his big brothers. All right, guys, you might be able to hear that wind howling behind me. So we've got junk tides and a howling northerly. What am I doing out here? <laughs> it's pretty crazy conditions. So it's um, oh, two meter high dropping to a one meter low and then a 1.5 high. So very little tidal movement. And I'm basically just gonna pick the edges. So what I've done is I've deployed my anchor. I've got my anchor out on the running rig, which I've spun around to the back. So now I can work this area here. So I'm gonna cover this section of bank, pull up the anchor, move down the bank. And I'm just gonna grind it out and work my way along, see if I can find a few fish. So I'm fishing something a bit different today. I've got some new toys. So I've got the range of painted Headlocks Finesse UV heads. So these things are awesome. UV and also in some cool colors, black, bloodworm, motor oil, and orange. And I'm teaming him up with a 1.5, a 1.75 inch Z-Man Micro Baits, Micro Finesse, Micro Baits, uh, tiny ticklers in 1.75 inch. So you can see those little legs in the water, those little legs move around. And that, they are sitting right there where the hook point is. So the fish are hopefully gonna go in, attack those legs that could be little crab legs or yabby claws or worms out of the bottom or whatever so hopefully the fish come in to attack those and they find our hook we've got our brim straight up on that naturally looking color i think that's going to be brilliant if you're trying to imitate crabs yabbies prawns that sort of thing it's very very naturally looking color and it's pretty cool but i've got a few other colors here so i'm just going to mix it up a bit as well so See if we can change it up and, and get a bite. So this guy might be good in this dirty water. It's got a nice dark silhouette. As you can see there, that's the black head, black UV. So still UV reactive head, if I hit that with the UV torch. And that's bumblebee color in the tiny tickler. So I've got black as from there. I've got that chartreuse underneath there for a bit of UV pop. Put a bit of scent on. We can fish it a bit slower then if we want. Just rub that scent all over that guy. And we'll try it. That's the bumblebee colour. So you can see the black standing out in the water there. So the fish won't have any problem seeing that black silhouette. So a few tips for fishing in windy weather. Why not? We've got a howling northerly. Let's talk fishing in the wind. First thing I'd say about fishing in the wind is that it's definitely worth a go. As long as it's safe to get out there and fish, fish don't care if it's windy. Oh, they're still getting chased in there. The fish, the wind is actually pretty good for fishing and often it'll, it'll blow into banks like here, aerate the water, stir up food, fire the fish up, and it'll also give them cover. It's in terms of here, it's given them cover in terms of a dirty water line. It also gives them cover in terms of 
not just a glassy flat surface. So they can hunt a bit more aggressively and move around and, and you know, it's, they're less easily spotted by birds and, and other fish and, oh yeah, there we go, and us fishing. Oh, pick that up off the bottom as it sat there, that's brilliant. So fishing in the wind, the fish definitely eat in the wind, no problem. We like sitting on the lounge in the wind because we don't like being out in amongst it. But the thing is the fish, it provides cover for them. What have we got there? Oh, that's a nice brim, that one. That's a beautiful brim. He liked the bumblebee. He liked the look of the bumblebee. So that's the black. Oh, you can see that Gamakatsu hook there, Japanese Gamakatsu hook in these headlocks for now. Just found its mark in the lip, and that's what you want. You know, if you're tournament brim fishing and that, and you get that tiny little rattle, you just want that hook to find its mark. So that's that Japanese Gamakatsu chemically sharpened hook on those jig heads. That's the bumblebee colour. So that's pretty cool. That dark black back with that chartreuse belly. All right, I've just made a quick change to what I think is going to be my go-to colour in the tiny ticklers, and that is the hot snakes colour, which I also love in a TRD bugs. It's got a nice green pumpkin-y sort of back, and it's got that belly on it that's a real greeny colour with a bit of fleck and flake through it and stuff, and it's um, and that is very UV reactive, and I've put that on the motor oil coloured headlocks finesse UV, so that looks like a beautiful natural looking combination, that one. So yeah, we'll see if we can stir up a fish on it. Yep, 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 fish on. Fish on right off that weed edge, doesn't feel very big. What are you, little tiny fella? Oh no. Tiny brim, he's absolutely scoffed it. With his little fish. <laughs> Nailed that little tiny tickler. I'm going to go back in that area again after landing that fish, just in case he's got some bigger mates. Yep, yep, fish on again. Gee, they really like to shaky retrieve, hey? I started to switch it up to like a more aggressive shaky retrieve, and that's two fish in two casts. Not big fish, but man, they love that shaky retrieve. That's an angry little brim, he's a bit bigger that fella. Shaky, shaky retrieve. Almost not moving it very far at all, just shaking it. And that's that hot snakes colour, motor oil head. A bit of fun in the wind, eh? I, you know, I don't mind catching fish, whatever they are, but that's good fun when I could be doing nothing. Could be doing the mowing, so that's even though the conditions are not very friendly. But that was a really aggressive shake. Just, you can see the rod tip there. Pretty much just shaking the rod tip while I'm barely winding the reel. Seems to be a fair bit of bait just in that area where I got that fish as well. So I'm gonna go back in there again. As a, you might be able to see the sandy patch with weed around it that I'm fishing there. That's where that fish was. Yep, there's another one. Oh, that feels like it's got a little bit more grunt. So I've found a school of fish. They're not big fish, but gee, they're whacking it in there. And they're loving it on that shaking, shaky retreat. Just getting those little feet dancing on that tiny ticklers. If I keep going at this rate, I'm going to get an absolute cracker because they keep getting bigger. That guy is a grunter this time, so that's nice. Another different species. So there we go, there's another species on the tiny ticklers. Grunter, silver grunter, spotted grunter. Beautiful, pinned on that. Number two Gamakatsu hook, one eighth ounce. And that Headlocks Finesse UV in motor oil colour. It's been a productive little pocket here. Couple of brim and that grunter, nothing big, but put a bend in the rod, bit of fun. So that's when you are, Fishing in wind, there's another tip for you. When you find the fish, focus in that particular area. That's where your anchoring or your electric motor comes in again, you know. If you're drifting with the wind, you'd be gone and out of this area in a second. So you might catch one of those fish and then just keep drifting. 
Whereas by anchoring, we're actually able to cover that area a bit more and hopefully we can find a couple more fish just in this little pocket. It's got all the ingredients of a, a great little spot to hold fish. It's got varying depth and it's got deep water behind shallow water there. It's got lots of weed and it's got that sandy patch as well and good changes in depth. So plenty of good ingredients. I'll just mix my cast up a bit and go over to this other weed edge a little now. And I'll just keep working across the face of this weed edge. Go back into that pocket again where those other couple came out on. Yep, straight on. Straight on. It's funny how they're sitting in that pocket. They're not big fish, but I don't mind a bent rod. Also a bit of fun experimenting with these tiny ticklers. And that's those new headlocks from SUV painted jig heads. I reckon they're going to be an absolute dynamite. So that's another Brimbo. Again, not a big fish, but put a bend in the rod. And the, the best thing was we flicked straight back into that area where we've got a couple of fish and that's where he was sitting in there. So what are they doing in there? Are they feeding on something in there? Is there a little bit deeper water? Something's definitely holding them in there. Yep, there's another one. <laughs> Unbelievable. Oh, he's off that one. Yep, there we go, up over the top of the weed. That time I didn't let it get to the bottom, I just shook it over the weed. So it must be a lot of brim up there feeding up on top of that patch. Again, not big, but still brim boat. I think we might just try letting out a little bit more rope here and we're going to drift back in further and fish right up onto that float a bit further. I think there's a few brim up there playing around. Taylor just got bitten off clean by a tailor feeding up on there so we'll change it up straight away grab our other one that's already rigged Taylor up there smashing into the bait go back over this one yep so we're fishing up into some pretty shallow water there feels like another brimbo maybe Reef shark goes the other way, we don't want him eating our fish. <laughs> That's a better brim. That's a better brim up in the shallows. That's brilliant. What a cool fish. Have a look at that guy. Tiny ticklers. 1.75 inch. Boom, nice brim. That is a better fish for sure. And no water, have a look at that, there's no water up there, that's amazing. That's that Headlocks Finesse UV, painted jig head in black with the bumblebee colour in the tiny ticklers. Oh, where's me leaving that in slot? That's pretty cool. That's pretty cool, that's a decent brim, he's alright. Alright. You can see that pin, he's, he's drilled that up on top of the flat. So I'm gonna get a photo of him and then we'll get him back in the water. So just reinforcing again, the fact that we are anchored. So if we were drifting with the wind, we would have got one fish from here. We've got oh, half a dozen fish from here now, holding position with the anchor and peppering this weed edge and all these sand pockets here. So. You know, we anchored and moved and anchored and moved. We got a couple of brim at the start, and then we had to do a couple more moves with no fish. And then we found a little pocket, and now we're working it over and getting a few more fish. So, you know, we're grinding it out a little. It's, it's worth persevering and moving that anchor around and, and, you know, moving around until you find the fish. Yep, oh, yep, there we go. First time fishing the Micro Finesse 
tiny ticklers for me. That one was just the old old bike, but another species on the tiny ticklers. See you, buddy. Good in the smoke of those guys. First time fishing the tiny ticklers for me, so I'm pretty stoked. Caught a bunch of fish on it. No monsters yet, but I'm sure they'll come with time. But uh, yeah, just a good fun session getting out, fishing the tiny ticklers on these Headlocks UV, Finesse UV, painted jig heads. They're going to catch you guys a lot of fish, I'm sure. You can match the head with your favourite plastic or you can contrast the plastic that you're fishing. Just adds to the natural look of that presentation, that UV pop to attract fish and trigger strikes. Just creates a really nice overall presentation on that. Oh, oh, that got drilled as soon as it hit the water. Is that my tailor? Come on, be a nice big tailor. Be a nice big tailor, that'd be cool. Boy, how's as he drilled that? I can see it, it's silver over the weed there. Wow, that drilled it. Oh no. Did we Hopefully we didn't jag a mullet. <laughs> Gee, that went. Oh, it's a cracker brim. That's magic. We were just talking about not getting the big fellas. Well, that's a big fella. He's a brilliant brim. Come on, buddy. Tiny ticklers again. Up on the flat, twitched across the weed. Super stoked. <laughs> I was just saying how much I was enjoying that little session with these tiny ticklers on the Headlocks Finesse, and that's a solid brim. Can't argue with that fella. Look at that. It's a decent brim though. Pinned square in the corner of the jaw. It took us a little while to find them, but once we found a, a, an area that was holding fish, it's been great fun on these tiny ticklers. Oh! Taylor again, did I just get cleaned up again? Yeah, <laughs> Taylor again. Man, I'm running out of rigged lures here. <laughs> oh, wow, that's wild. <laughs> All right, it's the fire truce. If a couple of hours for that, we might have to re-rig a couple. You got any mates out there, Taylor? Surely you will need this fire truce color. That is unbelievable. Those tailor must be, there must be a lot of bait in this section of the flat because we have got brim, bunch of brim, grunter, and we've also been bitten off twice by tailor. So there's a few fish hunting up on this flat. Wouldn't mind landing one of those nice tailor. Fish behind it. Fish behind it, fish behind it, he's following it. Oh, they're all over it, just subsurface. Eat it, eat it, eat it, eat it, eat it. Wow, oh, that was brilliant. They're on, that's on the fire truce that time. They, they were be, up behind it, pushing the bow wave. Might be just brimbos again, I think. But, gee, they were all over it. That was cool to watch. Yeah, that's a brimbo, he's on the fire truce colour. That is one bright setup with that orange Headlocks UV head. Wow, they were pushing bow waves fighting over that then. Brilliant. See you, buddy. <laughs> Where's that tail? Okay, big long cast with the wind again, using that wind to our advantage. Get it out there. Basically just shaking that tip, winding the reel. So I'm keeping that thing moving with a twitchy retrieve across the surface. Well, it's probably running, I'll be running 10 centimetres down. So depth-wise, the water's maybe half a metre tops and the plastic's running 10 centimetres under. Man, they drilled it. Oh, let's get those bow waves going again. It's wild. Back in the same spot as we were before, right on top of the weed. This is the 
Yep, 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 fish on. Oh, he's got mates with him. His mates want to fight him for the fire truce. That's a popular colour. <laughs> popular on these brilliant layers. <laughs> oh, look at that orange head is like a beacon out there. That is brilliant. Getting a few rattles on that as I'm twitching it. See the rattle, see the rod load? Yep. But I'm just keep it just keep it moving. Yep, yep, and then it'll load like that. So you just want to keep it moving, keep it moving, even if they're tapping it, just keep it moving. Try that for a bit. If you don't get them to hook up, then you can always mix it up and try. Oh, he's fired up that one. You can always try the the paws to get them to eat. That's a good fish too, I think. Oh, he's not too bad, that guy. Oh, that is wild. Awesome. What a great time, you know? It's blowing a gale, but who cares? We're not catching giant fish, but geez, we're catching fish. Just straighten that tail up a little. Good thing about the 1.75 inch tiny tickler is it's pretty easy to rig because it's a nice cylindrical body shape. So we just feed it on there and that's ready to rumble. Have a look at that orange head in the sun. She's popping, they're not missing it. That's allowing me to fish it nice and quick and they're still finding it. They're tracking it down on the top. Straight on it again. Oh, fish on. I'm just fishing nice light spin combos for throwing these 1 8 heads. So, the setups that I've got here, I've got two the same there, and this guy here is a little bit different. So, this is a black mumba 7 foot 1 to 3 kilo rod, and on it, I'm running a, an ITX 1000. 6 pound Pulse X8 Brave, 10 pound leader. I'm still running 10 pound leader as I do because I know I could find a big flatty, but it hasn't saved me on the tailor that have knocked me off. But there you go, there's another good Brembo, Rats Brim. They love it in the wind. There's that gamma hook finding its mark in the lip of the brim. So that's that chemically sharpened Japanese gamma katsu hook. You know, there's not a lot of not a lot of fish pinned there, but that chemically sharpened hook found its mark. Another nice solid little brim. I don't know what size they are, but a lot of them are around the same sort of size. 30 chipper. So, not giant fish, but definitely good fun. I'm over to the left and the bait's over to the right. I'll rip it in there. Always remember, keep an eye out for the bait and where the bait's moving, where the fish are chopping up and that sort of thing. Big long cast with this winded out back. Yep, yep, for sure. Wow. That's pretty, pretty hot little brim session. Sitting in our kayak, anchored in 25 knot winds, smacking the brim. <laughs> Yeah, I'd love to see what you guys catch on this combo. Give it a run over your own weed beds and brim spots that you fish in your local area. Oh, that's another nice one. Oh, he's away. He was probably the biggest one so far, but that's okay. He's on its way. Just the way this thing darts is beautiful. When you twitch it, it just almost like walk the dog. It just darts from side to side. Looks like a, a fleeing bait fish. So it's cool or a you know a prawn kicking or just those things that fish come across on the on the flats. Drop one down in that little deeper pocket there. Haven't given up on you yet, flatfish. I know you're somewhere.
So the other two combos I've got there, they're light spin combos as well. So one to three kilo, I love one to three kilo for throwing the Ned Rig and throwing these light finesse plastics and that sort of thing. So they are TT Rods Red Belly, one to three kilo. And they're actually two piece rods. They, they feel like one piece rods, they're absolutely magic rods and they're good for travel and that sort of thing as well being a two-piece so yeah i really like those guys and they're paired up with the akuma same rhd if you haven't seen the same rhd make sure you check it out because they value for money bang for buck i think they're unbeatable like in terms of what you get for your dollars if you want to get into your door fishing those same RHD rods are sweet and they're they the size on there as well and they're loaded with a six pound platypus pulse x8 in white again with that 10 pound leader but you know that that's a, a cracker combo red belly one to three kilo with a one thousand oh yeah there we go with a one thousand same rhd really cool drags on them their drags scream real nice another pikey we should be smoking that guy well it might be a few too many pikeys up there now Another one. Oh no, might be a brimbo. Yeah, brimbo. Oh, just amazing number of brimbo on this flat. I think we're going to have to rig another colour and give it a crack. All around that same sort of size. Around that 30 tipper. Again, that fire truce colour in the 1.75 inch tiny ticklers. And our orange UV TT headlocks finesse UVG goes beautiful. I don't know if you can see this orange thing dart in the water, but when you dart, when you shake it, it just darts around like a little bait fish fleeing. It's it's amazing, and, that, and those fish are just climbing all over it. So I'm absolutely blown away. It's a new presentation for me. I was hoping to sneak out and see if I could catch one on each colour. We have caught a bunch, bunch on the hot snakes, bunch on the bumblebee, bunch on the fire truce. Oh, we just got bit off again. Well, that gives me an excuse to tie on the other one I've got here. <laughs> that is crazy. That one might have been a yellow tail pike. It didn't, de definitely didn't have the power or the head shake to come out of the water or anything like that other one. So now we've got no rods rigged. The good thing is we haven't lost our leaders, so we can just rig up again. Are you a tailor? That's the green pumpkin orange colour. That's a nice brim as well. Tailor jumped right near where my lure landed too, so might be a few more tailor out there. Oh, nice brim. Nice brim, nice brim. Where's this? Settle down, buddy. They're just good handful size brim. 30 centimeter tippers. And uh, good numbers of them eating that 1.75 inch tiny ticklers in the Z Man Micro Finesse bait. Jason, that the wind's got the line and it's zipping along the surface. He's after it. Yep, he's on it. Yep, he's on it. Yep. Oh, nice fish. Oh, geez, he drilled that. That was funny. Then I threw up, up into the wind a little. And as I wound it back, the wind had the plastic almost skipping across the, the surface. I can see the, the boils behind it as he's chasing it. He's a lovely brim. 
just good solid fish. Nice handfuls of rim. Oh, man, I chewed later from that pikey. He's all over that. <laughs> that was so cool. I was basically fishing top water with that thing then. That fish just drilled it. Saw him come out of the water and saw him mouth eat it. Here's another nice grill. Come on. Consistent sized fish, that's for sure. There you go. Motor oil head hot snakes hey folks what an insane session out on the water you can probably hear that wind ripping in the mic sorry about that i've just turned the camera around to face me uh, i've been using that wind to throw big long casts and work the flats and that anchored on the edge here to be completely honest totally different i'm on plan b i actually had a different plan when i launched the yak and then because that northerly wind picked up absolutely howling i changed it up and we just went and hit and hope we came to a different area uh, our aim was to fish those new headlocks uv painter jig heads uh, headlocks finesse and fish those little tiny ticklers and wow what a session that is unbelievable ton of brim ate them we got bitten off by a couple of tail i got a grunter and some pikeys and a few different things but just the ferocity that the brim ate those with is is just awesome so i got a few brim hopping in on the bottom moved along to an area found a nice patch of structure and just worked it over when we got a stack of fish so i hope you enjoyed that get out there check out those headlocks finesse uv jig heads and make sure you check out those little 1.75 inch tiny ticklers as well absolutely deadly rigged perfectly on that number two gamakatsu in those headlocks finesse get out there get stuck into them all the best with the fishing cheers